Hi, Glendale family. Pastor Kate here for our morning joys and concerns. And I've got June and Dwayne with me. June and Dwayne, do you want to say hi? Hi. Yep. <laughs> hello, hello. Who are you talking with now? So I am talking with um, the other congregants who are gathered on Facebook Live. And let's see oh, who those people oh, oh. are. Okay, Leah's back now, so. Wonderful. Leah's yeah, getting June so set up on live so she can see the camera and the picture as well. All right, okay. so you all know what to do. Um, go ahead and get that comment section. Any prayer, um, joys, or concerns that you have, or morning greetings, and we will get into this. All right, so Linda Vanderwerst coming at us from Marshall, Minnesota, June and Dwayne. So we are gathered all across. I hope it has been a good week of hope for you all. Um, and even in the midst of the 2020, um, that there be at least some moments. Oh. Are on Live. All right. <laughs> June, I'm going to go ahead. Okay, June, I'm going to hang up for the feedback, okay? And we'll see you on Facebook Live. All right, Dwayne, are you still with us? Yeah. All right. Okay, here we are. <laughs> all right, we're gathering and settling in and figuring this all out together. Okay, so June, um, now that we're not on the phone, just go ahead and type in any prayer, joys, or concerns that you would like to share in the comment section. And Dwayne and I were talking earlier um, about um, praying together um, for a uh, vaccine and for the virus to get better so that we can all have a little bit more fun and get back into life. Uh, Dwayne, anything to add? No. All right. So for all of those who are affected um, and for all of those healing, Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. And let's give out a shout out to Bob and Janice Black as they are joining us from their new home in Bloomington. The move that they have been working for for all of these months is happening. And so Janice and Bob, blessings as you settle into your new space and make it home. And we pray that all of that goes well and that you get some good rest after all of this and that you discover all of the nooks and crannies and fun aspects of this new place. Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. We are also joining and continuing our prayers for Jim Ross and Bev Redman. And speaking of moves, Dot, Cindy's mother-in-law, uh, moved this week as well and is settling in to her space. So prayers for Dot and that transition and for all that Dave and Cindy were able to do. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. And let's also join Rick and Kay Dunning. Um, Kay sent us out a prayer request uh, back on Wednesday. Her hometown in Haines, Alaska, it had some devastating flooding to the point where it created landslides and wiped out multiple several houses and sent them even down into the ocean and so prayers for haynes alaska there are also two people who are still missing and so prayers for that uh, community and their families and then there was one fatality and she was a kindergarten teacher who had just graduated from college in May. And so prayers for comfort and for healing and for safety for Haines, Alaska. 
Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. Good morning to the Nicholases and to Sandy and Mike. Good to see you all um, with us. And Nancy, good morning to you too. Um, as Sandy is here, um, she is sent in prayers and we join her in prayers of condolence um, for square dance friends and family of Marv Kasperson who passed away after surgery. God, we ask that you hold Marv close and that it be your Holy Spirit and your love that ties him and his family together um, from this side of the river to the next as you give all of these your children new life in heaven and here on earth in healing lord in your love hear our prayer we also join sandy in praying for her work acquaintance and friend gina um, from illinois who passed away after a year-long battle with pancreatic cancer and we again pray Pray for comfort um, for the family and for Gina's new welcome. God, we ask that you surround her in the company of your um, holy community and the community of saints and that you might welcome her in and breathe into her the breath of life just as you do her family and the grieving that they are experiencing here. Hold everyone in the warmth and the light of your love. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. What other prayer joys and concerns and moments of hope do you have to share with us this morning, family? Go ahead and type those into the comment section and keep that coming. Good morning, Chris. Thank you to you and Cheryl for the Advent wreath for this week's worship. That was lovely. If you all haven't gotten a chance to see it, Aubrey is also there sharing scripture and did a phenomenal job. Kay absolutely continued prayers um, for Haynes. Um, and prayers of thanksgiving and a joy and the hope of there were four people who were missing who were found safe. And so... Um, prayers of celebration for them and the community and the family while we still are with the two um, who are yet to be found. And we know that our God is one who finds those who are lost. And so prayers for healing and um, dry weather as it has started raining and snowing again, which will make that healing and that safety uh, more complicated yet again. So again for Haynes, Alaska. Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. Nancy, any word on your daughter and how she's doing and her recovery? Let us know that there as well. Good morning, Barb and Kent. Good to have you with us. Let us know if there's anything that we can be joining you in prayer over. Dorothy and Ron, blessings. Um, and and let us know, too, if there's anything that we can join in prayer over and um, how the quicks are doing. It's good to have everyone here. We've got a second week of Advent starting now where we get to add peace into the hope of the first week and we'll be Abraham and I will be at the Advent wreath again at 4:30 uh, for you all to come and join us. So go ahead and share any advent moments of hope or peace or and any joys and concerns that you have. And Janice and Bob, if you want to add in a couple pictures from the move and how that's going, please do so.
Thank you for gathering together, everyone, to offer our prayers of finding a grounding in the midst of all that is happening. I would also ask that we pray for Middle Collegiate Church in New York uh, City um, that uh, burned over the weekend from a fire that started in adjacent building. It is a 130 year old historic church uh, that we lost this weekend. And so prayers for Jackie and for the entire team there and, and what that means for them. Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. Nancy, I'm so glad that Cheryl's doing well and we join you in that joy um, that she's recovering and restored and very, very glad to hear. And Cindy, good morning. Let us know how your mom is doing and how you are. All right, Nancy, 80% back to normal. We will take that for Cheryl. All right, and seeing the doctor next week, so prayers that that goes well, that she's got some good, strong antibodies, and that um, work will be coming together the week after that in a way that's not too draining, but that is nice to get back into a rhythm again. Prayers for all of those who are unable to work and then the economic effect of that, um, especially for our hourly and not salaried workers. Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. It's not failing. All right. And just keep posting in the comments anything that you have to add in. It's good to be gathered. Oh, we lost Dwayne. I'll have to call him back. All right, it is Sandy's niece Jessica's birthday today. Happy birthday, Jessica. So prayers of joy and that there might be some good cake and ice cream and celebration in the midst and uh, depending on how old that niece is, maybe a slumber party or a or a good birthday party later on. What else are you thinking about this week of hope and into peace? <clears throat> In our pauses, if we simply take time to breathe and to pray and to be together. What else, church family? We, of course, continue in prayers for the vaccine, continue in prayers for healing for our community, keeping in mind our youth who are learning so many new things in terms of connecting and the way to, to make the transition to online classes, all of the schedules that parents are keeping with all of the timers to get to class and not miss them prayers for the teachers who are learning new platforms um, as well as the content of classes. Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. Lisa, we're joining you in prayers for Tate, um, a friend who is in the hospital with COVID and he is coughing up blood. Oh, Lisa, this is a really scary time, family. And so Tate, we are surrounding you in all of the warmth and light of God's love, in all of the hope and the peace of this season, that God might bring healing not only for your lungs and for all that is happening in your body, 
but that God might bring peace and unravel tiled, tired nerves and untangle all of the anxious and garbled thoughts that come with being in this moment. Tate, we lift you up, Lord, in your love. Hear our prayer. And Cindy, we're so glad that Dot is making herself at home in her new apartment, and we continue to keep that transition in prayer. And Nancy, it is hard, isn't it? We do just miss our church family um, and seeing each other. I was just talking in our pod last night with Jason and Allie and how much we miss hugs. <laughs> And I will never take that receiving line granted ever again and getting to receive almost a hundred hugs or handshakes every Sunday. Um, and do, I really miss being in person with you all. And I'm very grateful for the way that you all are doing this really hard time and hard work together and, and keeping all of us as safe as possible in the decisions that we're making. Mason sent me an article earlier this week about a pastor who died from contracting COVID um, and, and the prayers that he had around for, for being grateful for the precautions that we've set in place to try to protect everyone. And I know that is just ridiculously frustrating at times, but thank you all for, for standing strong in it and, and moving through it together. Lord, in your love, hear our prayer. Good morning, Sidelitzes. Good to see you. And Kay, um, prayers for the preschool where you teach. Uh, one class has been exposed to COVID and has to quarantine for two weeks. So prayers that everyone stays healthy and no other classes will contract it. Absolutely. We pray, pray that that gets contained and that for those who are exposed and do have it, that it might be a mild case with no symptoms or as little symptoms as possible that they are able to heal from quickly for all of those families and for not just trying to stay safe um, health-wise, but then all of the implications that that brings for work um, and for mental health in, in the midst of the quarantine. Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. I'm thinking of Sabrina too and celebrations with her and getting a hamster. And so Gray is now a new part of the Sabrina and Brett's family. And so prayers of joy for Gray and for all of the cuddles that are coming um, from our pets and from all of the joy that they are sharing with us in life. And I do believe that Denny and Gail have a new puppy as well to celebrate and and that is definitely keeping them busy, giving them a good project. So for all of the new fur babies that are taking care of us, Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. I'm going to leave this open for a couple more minutes and go ahead and add in anything else into the comment section that you would like us to join in prayer over. And then we'll close this morning with the Lord's Prayer. And again, there there is a lag time with comments. So if I haven't seen um, or shared a prayer that you have posted, go ahead and try it again. And even feel free to text me as well. And then I'll check my phone and share it from there. What else? Mike, how are James and Anna doing with the distance learning and with school? How are you all? I would also like to give a big thanks to the worship team and all of the planning that they are doing. And Ashley is the one who's been posting all of our videos of the daily readings of the Christmas story um, online and on Facebook. So thank you to her and thank you to everyone who have been making the videos. It's just been a really delightful way to see each other's faces and hear our voices and connect and get grounded in the season as well. 
And Cindy, absolutely prayers for you as you teach kindergarten to Skylar on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'm so glad that you're there um, for her and, and getting that good grandma time in. Um, and then also being able to help out. This is absolutely a village moment. And so may there be some good bonding together and some good learning. Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. All right. I'll go ahead and pause for a moment longer. And then if there's nothing else, we'll go ahead and close with the Lord's Prayer and a couple of announcements. And again, um, if you didn't see from the email or here, we've um, now received two grants to date um, this year, um, a micro grant to make that Advent wreath outdoor possible from the Ministry Lab, um, which is a phenomenal resource that we've used to help us find Sunday school curriculum as well. Um, and then also we received an Investing in Congregations grant from the conference um, for our Mission Quest work, which would have been covered um, by my sabbatical grant, um, but we did not receive that one. So this means that we will be able to continue forward um, with the work that we had planned in terms of the multicultural trainings with Kelly and Miguel coaching us and then some of the program and resource work with that. And so very, very grateful to our conference, there were um, applications came in for twice as much money um, as was available and we still got uh, 10,000 for our work. And so I'm, I'm really grateful um, for that investment. All right, let's go ahead and close together with the Lord's Prayer and then I have a couple of announcements for us. So as we've held this space together, and for all of the concerns and the joys that remain unspoken in our hearts and for all of the battles that are being fought internally and externally all around this world that we don't even know about, we lift into God's love and care. As together we join our hearts and our voices with our siblings in Christ all around the world, as together we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much, Glendale family, for being here with us. Um, just so that you know, we're still accepting um, our and finishing uh, financial planning for stewardship. Oh, oh, time out, time out. We've got such an excitement. June um, has posted and and her granddaughter, Katie, is pregnant with her third child. June, congratulations. That's so beautiful and exciting. And Leah, thank you so much uh, for this setup and for being here and helping us uh, get June connected here on Facebook Live. Thank you both. So delightful. Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. Go, Katie, go. Um, so if you need a um, giving card, a pledge card, um, please uh, contact our office and Lisa will be happy to mail you in. And I know there's a lot going on. Um, and so if you do have yours at home, um, we would love to receive that, of course, um, for our planning purposes as we're working to get the new year set up. And then again, like I mentioned, we'll be back live to get that second tree lit outside. <laughs> this is like Christmas. I'm so excited and I can't wait to see our entire Advent wreath outside all lit up and shining. But we're going to be one week closer this week and have two of our spiral Christmas trees shining out some hope and peace in the neighborhood. And so 430 tonight for that.
And then also we have Charge Conference coming up on Tuesday, December 15th. So not this coming Tuesday, but the next Tuesday. And that'll be at 6.30 from 6.30 to 8 p.m. And this will be a lovely one because we're doing it in conjunction with other churches. It will be all virtual, all online. But it means that we're going to be able to hear from Cynthia, our district superintendent, who is also now dean of the cabinet, as well as from other churches. And so it will be a great moment to have that sense of connection, which I don't know about you all, but I'm craving any moment that I can get here in 2020. And um, also, if you have not yet met our district superintendent or heard her or experienced her prayers or her preaching, please do come. Um, she is hands down the best district superintendent and pastor I have yet served under. And and she is just such a gift. So please come and, and share and be a part and receive the blessings that she is and that she gives to us. And also in order to do that, um, each person does individually have to register. And that link will be in our Monday email and Lisa and I will continue to remind you. So if you want to be a part of that Zoom, you have to each person register to receive the link. And so that'll be very important again to be part of our charge conference. And um, as members, if you are a member of this church, then you are able to vote. If you are not a member, we'd still love to have you be a part of that moment. You're just not able to vote um, in, in the pieces, the leadership and my compensation um, that and the membership that comes comes that will come up during that time. Lastly, um, Sandy has information for us um, from Hidden Valley Elementary and the family that we will be adopting. And she did this great thing where she has uh, five different candy canes in the mailbox at church. And so if you would like to drive by tonight and see both of the candles lit, like maybe after six when it's really dark and send a picture my way for the website, hint, hint, um, and a candy cane as well. Um, and we have a 10th grade um girl and a second grade boy and a pre-kindergarten girl as well as mom and family board games um, to buy from and those candy canes are in so if you would like to pick one up with the tag of the suggested ideas for what to get that would be fantastic and um, if you don't want to drive by the church um, please just email sandy uh, lisa and or myself and we'll make sure that we get this family covered and that we know uh who's doing what for for making that Christmas happen for them. And then lastly, um, if you would like to provide a video for um, and read Sunday scripture or the Advent wreath, we would love to have you and let Lisa know um, as we're organizing that through her. Our next open door food distribution is this coming Wednesday on the 9th at two o'clock. And let Sandy know if you are available to help and please continue um, if you have not heard from us and are still interested in joining a winter pod let us know um, we'll be uh, checking in on how those are going and so if you have any questions or need anything from this please contact us we want to make sure that no one is left out um, or isolated this winter as always i will be available on tuesday from 5 30 to 8 p.m and from thursdays from 2 to 5 in my office hours just give a call and we can set up a video call as well glendale family may this be a blessed week of both hope and peace as we continue our advent waiting all the love bye family <laughs>